So in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the process of drawing angle 67 and the arc. So um, in constructing angles like this, you have to be uh, the first thing you have to do is how do you intend to achieve such um, angle? Because for instance, 67 and the arc, there are actually two ways right now. I'm going to be showing you in this video. So um, you can either get it by constructing angle 60 first, and then you construct angle 7 and the arc. Exactly. So that's the first way. So um, I'm also going to, once I'm done with this, I'm also going to show you another uh, alternative method of um, constructing angle 67 and the app. And don't forget, we are going to be doing construction. So that means we are not going to be using a protractor. The only time you might need your protractor is probably to confirm the angle. All right. So uh, actually, I've started earlier, but I didn't even know that my camera was not recording. But I've not gone far. So in constructing this, now if you look at the, um, the one on the screen, you will see that this is all the lines that are used in constructing that they are very faint. You add this to them. The only thing you will see is the line that is showing the angle itself. And that is how your construction should be. Exactly. So the only time um, you're going to show all of this is... So that's how it should be. And now if you look at the, the one on the screen, you see that all the lines are very faint except the lines that is showing the angle itself. That's the angle 67 and the half. And that is how your construction should be. Every other line should be very faint except the line that is showing the angle. But in this video, I'm going to make everything bold so that you can see them clearly. But make sure when you are doing yours, you are using a faint line. So the first thing you should do is draw your line, like I've already drawn it here. And then you have it. And then you bring in your, your compass, you draw a semicircle. So that's what I did here. You just place it at the center. You pick a, a point zero on your straight line. And then you draw an, uh, a semicircle. So where the semicircle is touching this line, so here I call it point A and point B. So now with the same length, don't forget the first thing I want to do now is to get angle 60. Exactly. So with the same length, you come to point B with the same length of the compass you use in drawing your semicircle. You place it on point B, you draw an arc. Exactly. So I've drawn my arc and my arc is on this point. So I call that point point C. Point C, which is what I have here. Point C. Point C. So now we've done that. We've gotten 60. Now it's for us to get 7 and a half degrees that we are going to add to it to give us 67 and a half. So in doing that, you bring back your compass at any convenient length. What I want to draw is to draw a perpendicular line that has a 90 degree. So you place it at point B and then you draw an arc. With the same length, you come to point A, you draw an arc. And then you note the point of intersection. Like I said in other construction that I've done, if you have to bisect or you are constructing, make sure that your point of intersection you take your time to pick it very well because if you get that wrong, it will affect your end result. So, with this, now I already have my perpendicular line. So, now we can break this down. That means the angle we are having here is 30, and then the angle we are having from here to here is 60. So, what we are going to do is this 30, we are going to divide it till we get 7 and the half. So, that's going to be 30 divided by 2. If you divide this once, we are going to get 15. If you divide it again, we are going to be getting 7 and a half degrees. So that means we are going to be dividing this line, I mean this angle rather, we are going to be dividing it twice. So now let me call this point where this uh, perpendicular line is touching the semicircle. So let me call it point D. Exactly. So that means we can say angle DOC is 30 degrees. Exactly. So that means, let me just write it, our DOC is 30 degrees. So we want to divide it into two. So in doing that, you bring back your compass. From point D and point C, we are going to draw an arc. So if I place my compass on point C, I draw an arc. With the same length, I go to point D, I draw an arc. So from the point of intersection, like I said, you have to be careful when picking this. So from the point of intersection, which is right here, so you are going to draw a line to point O. Can see, so we are going to draw a line to point O. So where this the line I've just drawn, where it is touching the semicircle. Let me also note it. So let me call that point point E. So with that now, that means we already have. We can say our point E O C. E O C is um 15 degrees. Exactly. So we've just divided um D O A. I mean uh D O. Okay, sorry. This should be D O C. DOC, we just divided it into 215 degrees, which is so we have EOC to be 15 degrees, and we also have EOD to be 15 degrees exactly. So, what we want to do now is this EOC, we are going to divide it again, now we are going to bisect it, 
and to get seven and a half. So this angle here. So it's just the same process. You bring out your compass at any convenient length. Since the angle is very small, let me increase my compass. So you place it on point C. And then you draw an arc. With the same length, you come to point E. And then you draw another arc. So now we note, take note of their points of intersection. So, uh, so the points of intersection are the center of it. Draw an arc. So this line that we've just drawn is the line that gives us, so that means we are having We have been able to bisect it into two. So this is seven and a half, and this is seven and a half. So with that, now we've been able to get our angle. So this is it here seven and a half. So let me just write it here seven. I mean, so the total now we are having is uh, 67. 67 and a half degrees. So now this is the first method that I, I made mention of. This is the first method. Now another alternative to getting the 67 and a half degrees. If you should multiply 67 and a half, which is 67.5 times 2. By the time you multiply it, you are going to be getting angle 135 degrees. Exactly. So you can go ahead and construct angle 135 and divide it into two. So that's another method of getting 67 and a half. So let's quickly do that. So let me just use, uh, let me just take this. Okay, let me leave it. So now let me just show you the second method of getting angle 67 and a half. Now don't forget this. Like I said, every other thing there should be faint line. Just this line that is showing 67 and a half that should be made good. So let me draw my straight line. And then let me draw my semicircle. So this is method two. So let me draw my second my semicircle. So let me note the point of intersection where the semicircle is touching the line. And, um, so this is let's call this point O and let's call this A and B. So now the next thing we want to do is construct angle 135. So this is also also a plus. You know if, if you if you also want to draw angle 135, is how you go about it. Now, if you look at it, if you have to get angle 135 degrees, it's simply 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, and that will give you 135. Exactly. So what does that mean? That means you have to construct angle 45. All right. And for us to construct angle 45, the first thing we need to do is construct angle 90. So now let's do that. So that means we are going to draw a perpendicular line to 2.0. So you bring in your compass at any convenient length. You place it on point B. You draw an arc, the same length of compass, you don't need to adjust it, and make sure your compass is firm. You draw an arc, so the point of intersection, from the point of intersection, which is right here, you draw a vertical line, which is a perpendicular line, to line AB. Now, we already have 90. For us to get 45, that means we are going to divide this angle 90. So let me not the point of intersection. So let me call this point point C. So that means we have our A angle AOC AOC to be 90 degrees. So now let's divide it into two. So you bring back your compass, you place it on point C. At point C, you draw an arc. With the same length, you come to point A, you draw an arc. Now from the point of intersection. So you can see, so that means this is 45, and this is also 45, exactly. And 45 plus this 90, and that will give us 135. So that means this angle here is 135. So now we can now use this to get our angle 67 and a half. And what do we do? Now this line that we've just drawn, let me note it. So let me call it point A. Okay, let's call this point D. So that means our angle DOB, let me write it here, DOB, so angle, angle DOB is 135 degrees. 
exactly so what we are going to do now is to bisect this angle dob you're going to divide it into two and in doing that you bring back your compass again at any convenient length so let me just increase it a bit you come to point b don't forget what we want to bisect now is angle dob which is 135 you come to point b you draw an arc exactly with the same length you come to point d then you draw an arc now from the point of intersection which is right here you draw a line to point o and with this now we've gotten uh so let me just use it uh, So with this now we've got an angle 67 and a half. So this right here is uh, 67 and a half. So let me now ask you a question. Between these two methods, uh, which one do you think is more convenient and less cumbersome? You can see we've been able to achieve the, uh, the same results. So this is uh, method one. Method one and this is method, method two. So um, let me also add this one simple trick in getting all of these angles, irrespective of the angles is once you have the basic knowledge of angle 60, angle 30, angle 90, angle 45, you know, you can take this angle 30 further, you know how to do 15. If you divide it, you have seven and a half. If you divide it further, you have three, three quarter. You know, if you divide 44, I mean for them 45, you have 22 and a half, you know. Once you have the basic knowledge of some of these angles and how to go about it, you can really achieve all of these angles using different uh, different calculation, different means exactly. So that it is for that is it for this video angle six seven and the app. If you find value, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, if you also want to know about every other angles, I still have them in the, um, on my playlist on technical drawing angle seventy eight three quarter forty eight three quarter twenty eight and the app and the likes. Every of those angles, how to go about them. You'll find them in the playlist on technical drawing. So thank you very much and I'll see you all in another video.